Hi everybody, this is Dr. Sue at Synergy Chiropractic with our friend Amber and she's going to help us show you how to stand when you're doing rowing or pulling exercises with bands. People are very focused on what their hands are doing when they're working with bands, their hands, their shoulders, maybe their neck, um, and they're not very focused on their foundation and that's where I want you to start is with your feet and your stance, okay? So the first thing we're going to do, Amber, these bands, and let me show you how people generally do it wrong. First of all, they want to stand with their feet square to the target, which makes sense. And then they typically lock their knees out, stick their chest out, and pull real hard. And you can see like that's not doing her spine any favors here. And it's not very stable. It's very hard to pull on a moving target when you're kind of teetering back and forth on a balance beam sideways. <laughs> very nice. So what we're going to do is put her in what we call a stride stance, or what I just call train track feet. So just imagine your feet are on two train tracks, you're going to slide one backwards it's still pointing forward okay so your two feet are still pointing the same direction that's real important people want to turn that back foot out because it feels more secure but then my belly button and my spine are kind of facing off on the diagonal and i'm not squaring my target anymore so just take a little step back keep those feet parallel keep that back heel down and then bend both knees a little bit people really want to lock their knees here and then they're right back to this silly chest out thing so both knees are bent tuck your tail under a little bit here nice and you can see she's got a really nice stable foundation here she's hard to budge okay so she's got her train track feet she's got her tail tucked under she's thinking nice and long through the spine okay and now when she pulls back she's super secure okay the next mistake that people make is and a lot of us got taught this i got taught this in school was we should pinch our shoulder blades together first and then pull the band back, okay? That doesn't work um, and it doesn't feel good. And it's not how our shoulders were designed to move or be used, all right? So what I want you to work on is pulling your shoulder blades and your arm together. It's not an either or, we don't operate in the world like that and we sure don't wanna reinforce it and practice it at home in our home exercises, okay? If she keeps pulling her hand back past where her shoulder blade can go, watch what the front of her shoulder does. Right, this right here, setting you right up for biceps tendon problems, okay? So when I run out of shoulder blade, I'm done rowing. Her hands are still in front of her body. Even with the happy food baby, she's gonna have her hands in front of her body, okay? So I'm pulling back shoulder blades and arms together, and when I run out of shoulder blade, that's it, I don't keep going and cranking that arm back. All right, so that's our very basic rowing pattern. Pay attention to these foundational movements when you set up your rowing at home and see if that doesn't feel a lot better and safer. Keep on exercising.